7 Lovable Dogs That Shed Very Little Hi, I'm Pete, and today we are going to talk about some of the best dog breeds that don't shed a lot. Dogs can be great companions, but they do come with a lot of responsibility like cleaning up after them and dealing with their shedding. But if you're someone who doesn't have time or energy for these things, then it's worth looking into getting one of these breeds on our list. So let's get started. Number 7. The Portuguese Water Dog. The Portuguese Water Dog is the perfect mix of lovable, adventurous, and affectionate. There were probably a number reasons former President Barack Obama chose this breed as his favorite for first family were sure it's because they hardly shed at all. Number 6. The Ligato Romagnolo. Dog lovers looking for the perfect balance between strong and lovable, athletic and sweet should consider adopting an Italian breed, the Ligato Romagnolo. Known as the truffle dog, because it was once used to hunt down pricey mushrooms in exchange of meat when food wasn't available at home during wintertime months or there were no markets open this adorable curly-haired four-legged friend makes great family pet even though they shed very little. Number 5. The Shih Tzu. They say that a picture is worth 1,000 words, but in this case, the phrase could be a single hair, because Shih Tzus have so many hairs on their bodies. The longer your pup's coat and legs are for some reason which can sometimes make them look like little cotton balls or snowflakes depending how it falls down means more brushing. But don't worry, these long-haired dogs are low-shedding anyway thanks to those soft curls. Number 4. The Poodle. The Poodle is a dignified animal with an active and athletic personality. These proud dogs have thick, curly hair that sheds very little, but needs to be brushed every day for its health in order not have mats or tangles on the coat near their skin if it's going outside often which they enjoy doing most days when left alone at home. Number 3. The Havanese. The Havanese dog is one of the most adorable members in this kingdom. Their faces are known for being cute, but it doesn't stop there. These dogs also come with an upbeat personality and relatively low activity requirements that make them perfect household pets anywhere you live city or apartment dweller alike will love owning a Havana henceforward because they're so easy going on top of being adorably fluffy. The small size makes grooming less necessary than other larger breeds would require, however, if your friend does want his or her fur looked after then regular brushing should help reduce shedding tremendously. Small dogs come in all shapes and sizes, but the low-shedding Maltese is one of those that will capture. Number 2. The Wheaton Terrier. If you're looking for a loyal, loving companion dog, you won't find many breeds better than the Wheaton Terrier. These pups are known for their friendly personalities and deep-seated loyalty to their humans. They're also known for how little they shed. The soft-coated Wheaton Terrier has an extremely soft coat, hence the name, that's unlikely to leave tufts of fur strewn around your home, but their coat does require regular grooming and regular brushing to keep matting at bay. Number 1. The Labradoodle. Labrador Retrievers are one of the most friendly and loving breeds in the animal kingdom, but they definitely shed. Labradoodles, which are a cross between labs and poodles, offer the best of both worlds the wonderful personality of a lab with the hypoallergenic coat of a poodle, which is very low shedding. Just like a poodle, you should plan to brush your Labradoodle every day to avoid mats and regular baths, every month or so, will keep their coat clean and healthy. Note that because they're a mix of breeds, some Labradoodles may shed more than others. Work with a responsible breeder who can tell you about the particular puppy's background. There you have it. My list for the top 7 dog breeds that do not shed, or that sheds very little. While no dog is 100% hypoallergenic, there are dogs with a hypoallergenic coat that produce much less dander than others, which can keep reactions at bay. Getting a low-shedding dog can also help. Dander can travel in dog hair, so if a dog doesn't shed much, there is less dander that's likely to get into the air. And regular baths, and regular grooming. Being a dog owner doesn't mean you have to put up with dog hair covering every square inch of your home. And now that you know the most popular low-shedding breeds, you can have the best of both worlds great dog, no dog hair. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.